Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sal. If you're new, please press that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. So in today's video, as you can see, it says I've got my veneers changed. That is the truth, guys. I have had them changed. So I went to the clinic in the UK to a dentist and had my teeth cleaned and hygienist and they were just trying to polish it and everything and I realized that they over polished my teeth and looking at my teeth, I was like, well, they look a bit different. The colors changed, they've gone less white and I see more of a yellow tinge to it and I wasn't really, really happy. So what I done next is consulted Dental Center Turkey, the Antalya Clinic, and I said, hey, I had this issue. Um, I'd love to come back and change my teeth, maybe go for a natural shape as well. So when I had my teeth done, say about two to three years ago, I went for more of a natural and Hollywood style in between. But looking back, I thought, you know what? I do want to change. If I'm going back to change my crowns, um, I am very happy to change my shape as well. So as you can see on my teeth now, I have gone more natural, the whole shape is more rounded and I'm really, really pleased with it. For the color, I still went with BL1 and BL1 is something that I was happy with in the beginning. It's the whitest shade, but there is a new one called DCT White and that's more white. But as I do like Instagram, YouTube, and I used to do modeling acting, I don't wanna go overly white but it's, everyone's preference is their own. So it did. It does look good. Like when I saw DCT White, I was like, wow, it does look amazing. But for me right now, I don't wanna do that. But for you guys out there, if you're new and you haven't had any treatments done for your teeth and want to find out more information on how and where to go, this video is gonna be full educated on where to go, how to do it and where to stay and so on. First thing I will do is get in touch with Dental Center Turkey. All their details will be left down below. Contact them, um, they usually have like a WhatsApp service so you can like contact them there and then and they do reply quickly as well and then you can take it further. Once you get in contact with Dental Center, what they do, they will ask you for some information. This can be pictures and so on. So once you send off all your pictures and all your information needed and then they can actually book in a consultation for you and when you get there they can then start the treatment if you're wondering about the pricing all the pricing is on their website but when you do liaise with them they can go into more detail about the pricing so once you have your consultation and you're ready to book um, what I did I booked my flight so to Antalya there was like some days of EasyJet and Turkish Airlines that are currently flying due to COVID as well um, it's really really safe in Antalya so um, I booked with EasyJet to fly out there and then I extended my flight and flew back with Turkish Airlines both airlines are really really good but I do prefer Turkish Airlines once you've had your confirmation liaise with a like, consultant what they do they'll send you like a list of where they recommend you stay in Antalya I stayed at Accra Hotel it's literally 15 minutes down the road from the clinic so if you need to go back on a regular for checkups and your treatments it's not far to travel so especially in Antalya the weather was really really nice June like June to September time it's quite warm very warm like I got a tan when I was out there and the hotel the service was brilliant if you do want to check it out it is called Accra um honestly guys it, I love the hotel I 100% recommend it to all my friends family and you guys it was very clean very comfortable staff were really nice as well the pool was amazing I love going somewhere where there's like an adult pool where there's no kids running around. I can just chill, be in my own headspace, tan and not get distracted. The day has come and you're ready to fly out to dental center to have your treatment done. I wouldn't say it will restrict you by packing your bags. You can take anything with you because remember guys, it's just your mouth. You're getting work in your mouth so you can wear anything you want still. So don't worry about what to take, what not to take. It's all up to you. Okay, so. The good thing about Dental Center as well, they can also arrange like transport for you from the um, airport to the hotel and every time you need to go visit the clinic, they'll pick it up from the hotel and take you to the clinic itself. So with me, I'm talking about, for example, having my teeth done in the beginning. So what happens when you first go there, you fill out all the information and then you go into an x-ray, so you can x-ray your mouth to see if you're eligible to have your teeth done if there's any like if stuff you need to do like a root canal and so on any mouth issues so once that's done if you're all okay to go what they do they take you up to the consultation room as well and you talk about your teeth and what you want to achieve and then the next step it is filing your teeth down if you're going for what I have I have the Emax crowns so you would need to file your teeth down a little bit so they prepare your teeth for you so the actual crowns fit 
the reason I do the like preparing and then file it down is because sometimes you may have odd tooth that sticks out and they have to prepare it so when they put the crowns in it's all even so if you have like uneven like teeth balance so what happens they just literally file it down a little bit so they can actually fit the um, veneers in so people are saying before in my videos they're not veneers they are crown veneers i went for emacs when it comes to deciding what you want to get the dentist will have a look at your teeth and say okay you're eligible for emacs or the cronium um i think there's a bit more you can check out on the website and emacs is more of a translucent more transparent natural tooth basically so with the zucronium it's more thicker layer and i wanted to go for a natural shape completely so i still stayed with the emacs veneers honestly guys i'm really really happy and i've had my teeth done originally for two years and i had no problems whatsoever so if you're looking for different designs and shapes and you're not sure what to do and what to go for um what i'd advise going on like pinterest looking at teeth celebs teeth anyone's teeth that you like and then take it with you and show them because um there's so many options to pick from. There's a Hollywood smile, natural, and so on. There's like so many designs you can do. And honestly, guys, look, my teeth are really white and really natural. I wanted to change mine as well and go for a smaller shape and more of a smaller design and natural because over the years, I was like, you know what? I do love my teeth, but I just want to change them a little bit because especially that when I went to dentist in the UK and I over polished it, I just thought, you know what? I want more natural look more of a natural than more of a defined natural but i kept my fangs and the fangs give it more of the illusion of a natural shape also if you get your teeth rounded in certain areas so these ones before were the same like size like same length as the front two but i just lifted them up a little bit and rounded them kept these and also round the sides as well um once you're going for preparation as well um some people do experience sensitivity but honestly when you're there, they do look after you and before any dental treatment, they do inject you so you get a bit numb so you don't feel a thing. I didn't feel a thing when they were actually um, filing my teeth down originally, but on this step when I went, they literally had to cut through the crowns and take them one by one off. That was no pain whatsoever. I did feel a bit sensitivity the day after, but it do give you painkillers if you need them. Once you've had your teeth like prepared and so on, what they do, they'll take molds of your actual tooth and your mouth, so when they do your temporaries. So what happens, they file your teeth down guys, and then they go into the process of designing the shape and creating the crowns for you. So that will take around three to four days. So they will give you temporary teeth, like your original teeth that you just put on, it clips in, and you wear that for a couple of days. Um, the first hour or two I couldn't eat as much but then as a day goes on you you kind of get comfortable in eating and drinking I had no problems it was alright for me um, after that day you go back to your hotel I stayed in Turkey for 10 days originally because they said to me you're gonna come to the clinic around three to four times and um, Literally second day, third day, you're all right. You get to rest in the hotel, chill by the pool, enjoy a bit of a holiday, basically. So what they do, then they call you back, I think a day later, and then you go into the design clinic, basically. You go downstairs and there's a screen, they show your teeth, how your original teeth are now, and what you could do. You tell them, okay, cool, like, I would like to adjust certain areas of my teeth, bring them in, like basic design hub. So that's where you get full transparency of like, full like, control what you want to do to your teeth and then once that's done they'll send it to the lab and then they start designing so sometimes they can get that ready between two days or three days for you because um what i love they don't rush they take their time and make it perfect for you so today's the day where i get my teeth designed as you can see on the screen you can see where this bit of my fangs stick out more i'm trying to change them to make them more even and i'm probably going to go for more of a natural design so guys, this is my bite before. Yeah, and this is my after one, guys. As you can see, my... Perfect. Okay, so, the next visit will be um, your fittings. So you go into your fittings, they have like, they take your temporaries out and they clean your mouth whatsoever and then they actually put them in one by one without like gluing them down so you can see how they look and they ask you 
would you want any changes and so on and if you don't if you're happy with them you can get them put in that day if there's any adjustments they'll say come back tomorrow and get your teeth adjusted so if you're happy with fittings then you can go ahead and get them all done the same day honestly when i saw mine i was like yes i love it and i just literally had them put in but I originally also wanted to go back to Turkey because I had a tooth pulled out of the back of my mouth like say around two years ago and I had a missing teeth and I wasn't happy with that. When I was eating it was really like affecting my bite and my jaw and so on so I went and also had an implant put in so that's a separate surgery. So what I did I extended my flight for another 10 days because I thought you know what I haven't had a holiday, lockdown was stressful for me so I could stay for another like 10 days so I stayed in Turkey for 19 days in total and I could have stayed more guys I just loved it there it was so relaxing cleared my head um, so after I had my fittings what happens is they'll adjust your bite for you to see how your bite is and if you need any like adjustments and so on also um, I needed some root canals at the back as well so I did my root canals root canals I didn't feel a thing I thought it was gonna be like crazy because I'm watching videos on YouTube on how root canals are, like they're stabbing all these like nerves and stuff. But nothing actually affected it and it didn't hurt. I just felt a bit sensitivity for a couple of days. Your mouth does feel a bit sore, your gums feel sore for the first two to three days, but after that you feel really, really good. So after my fittings happened, I went back and had my implant put in. I was like I was so nervous. I kept pushing it back. I was telling my friend I was like Oh, I don't want to do it right now. I don't want to do it right now. I'm really scared. And then everyone was like, Sal, it's not painful. Trust me. Give it a try. So what I did was, um, I thought, you know what? Grew some balls and done it. I didn't feel a thing. They injected you. They start drilling your mouth and they put like the screw in and then they stitch you up and say, cool, from six months to a year, you must come back to have the actual implant put in. So it's like an implant with a crown on top and they adjust it into your mouth basically. So apart from that, my teeth looked incredible before and they even look better now and I'm very very happy and I haven't had any problems whatsoever. If you're wondering like, if there's any pain afterwards um, having your teeth done you may experience some sensitivity for a couple of weeks but that is completely normal because your nerves need to repair itself and so on. Don't be worried. I've had a lot of people get worried and be like oh my god I need to go see a dentist here in the UK. No, it's just, it's just giving it time because you've had a lot of work done in your mouth. It's just giving it time to heal. And um, they do give you some medication, like antibiotics and painkillers to take just to prevent any infections and just to calm down the pain if you do have pain. So when you get to the clinic as well, they the service is just something else. They have thing in a corner where they make you drinks and whatever you need, like if you want any like um, milkshakes, water, coffee, they literally provide it there for you and then make it for you while you wait and they are open literally all night basically so if you do need to go back they will literally book you in there and then so there's no waiting for like a day or two they're very professional the whole place is really clean really tidy and i don't know guys like i haven't had any bad experience with them and this is why i'm on youtube doing this video showing you guys how i had my treatment and what I've had done. So in this video now I'm just going to speed it up and show you guys like literally getting them filed down from breaking the uh, crowns to putting the new ones in and so on. So I hope you do enjoy it. I'm going to be doing an oral care video for you guys very very soon so stay tuned in for that and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions please please do comment down below follow me on Instagram as well I'm active on there daily and all the information about dental center will be down below so get checked guys and if you're interested in anything give them a shout